this is deliberate, uh, Angad, the dumping of fuel is deliberate. Would that be seen by the Americans, um, as some have argued, an act of war, uh, deliberately targeting, though it was an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, but you'd recall uh, there has been an incident between China and the United States of America. The Chinese pilot was killed. The American pilot was taken prisoner for some time. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here's the thing. I, I agree with what the ambassador said. Uh, the, the, the intercept and, and the fact that it was reckless and it ended up in, in, in a drone being downed uh, was deliberate. Uh, the collision itself was not deliberate. Uh, the intercept, I mean, the Russians are known for doing this, um, uh, as are the Chinese for that matter. Uh, it's routine for all countries to intercept uh, aircraft uh, in international airspace before they reach sovereign airspace. Uh, but uh, it, it's become a bit of a, a trademark for the Russians and the Chinese to uh, to maneuver aggressively, to maneuver closely, to try and force um, aircraft to either uh, disengage and, 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 and move away from their mission path. Uh, or, or in some cases, as in the, the Hainan Island incident that you're referring to, uh, it ends badly and the Chinese uh, plane rammed the, the, the U.S. Uh, reconnaissance aircraft. Uh, it's exactly what happened this time, except in this case it was a drone. Uh, and I think that gives both China, uh, both Russia and uh, the U.S. Uh, an off-ramp, uh, in essence. Uh, there's a certain deniability to, to fuel dumping and aggressive maneuvering uh, on the Russian side because they can claim that, you know, they didn't fire a weapon and therefore not an act of war. And, and for, the, uh, for, for the Americans, uh, they, they lost uh, a drone. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's not something to go to war over. Uh, and moreover, by releasing the footage as quickly as they've done and as clearly as they've done, uh, you know, they've called uh, Russia's blood. They've called Russia's bluff. Uh, Ambassador, in your view, would this be some kind of a signal that the Russians were trying to send out? Because everyone's talking about this imminent spring offensive uh, against Ukraine. It could, it could happen uh, very soon. Is this a message to America to not get directly involved or not be so aggressive the way American drones have been because the Russians uh, at least uh, through through some either their ambassador or some of the reports seem to indicate that the drone was gathering intelligence to help the Ukrainian army okay couple of things here uh, you know I don't think uh, uh, you know in my view the spring offensive has started and started long time ago so you know I don't think this really signifies or denotes the start of the uh, spring offensive the other point is that I think Americans have made it very clear and they have made it a point that they are not going to engage directly as far as the conflict is concerned. You know, they might provide intelligence, they might provide all uh, the wherewithal in terms of arms, equipment. You've seen even as far as HIMARS are concerned, they have said no more than uh, 70, 80 kilometers range. They are not providing F-16, not providing any of the aircraft. So they don't want to not only not get involved directly, but also not provide offensive weapons to Ukraine, yes. which could do harm, which could do damage to Russia, uh, you know, as far as its uh, internal areas are concerned. So basically the arms that are being supplied to Ukraine are uh, uh, for defensive purposes, defend themselves against uh, the attack from, uh, from Russia. So I think in that sense, uh, it signifies to me uh, some sense of frustration and desperation as far as the Russians are concerned. You've seen the sort of, uh, you know, the volleys of rockets and missiles that have, yes. been, that have been fired even on uh, civilian on areas. Yeah. So here also, I think it is a sign of uh, some sort of desperation that uh, they, they need to uh, sort of, you know, demonstrate uh, that they are... Uh, powerful, they are strong, and that they can uh, sort of, you know, uh, do whatever they Ukraine wish. anyway says Crimea is not Russian territory. The Russians are in violation. The Russians insist that the American drone was in violation of its special airspace. I also want to quickly cut across to India today's Shiv Arur joining me on the broadcast. Uh, Shiv, dramatic, very, very dramatic images. But what's the big picture that, that emerges? Both, both ambassadors, Sajanhar and Angad Singh, are of the opinion it's unlikely to lead to an escalation. What's your take? 
Well, there's been a very expected uh, war of words between the United States and Russia. Uh, the United States Secretary of Defense called uh, the Russian Defense Minister. They had a conversation, uh, uh, you know, very heated exchange uh, as we are to understand it. Uh, but there's been no, uh, you know, quote-unquote retaliation just yet. You know, whether, whether the destruction of this American drone will lead to an escalation, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Because remember, not very far from where this, uh, where this drone went down is a live conflict that has been... Uh, 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 you know, that has been escalating for the last one year. You were in Ukraine, Gaurav, so you know how, uh, you know, uh, j just how volatile things really are, even in the air above Ukraine and over the Black Sea. So uh, uh, I'm sure the United States will want payback at some point or the other at the tactical level against the Russians. They'll obviously be looking for some kind of high-value air target, uh, you know, that can make it look like pay payback has actually happened. But as you and I both know, things are much more complicated than that. Uh, it's not as simple as, you know, uh, one guy hits you and you hit him back. It, there's a lot of grey zone warfare taking place, uh, you know, in and around Ukraine right now. Okay. There are, there, there's warfare taking place uh, in the invisible domains as well between the United States and Russia. So who knows, maybe that retaliation uh, will take place or has already taken place in those domains. But for now, this 40-second clip, uh, you know, is the talk of the town across aviation and security circles because it captures something that is pretty much unthinkable when you think of these two big Cold War superpowers actually going at it in this manner over the Black Sea.